We just want to declare that we stand amazed in his presence. Amen.
you can just lift up your hands and call on to Jehovah. He's worthy, he's able. Is lifted high. Rabandesh ketai la brandi ezoda la fradi azede. Father, we have gathered here today to just worship you, to just adore you, to just honor you. Kali brande ezede le brandi ezoda la brandi ezede le brande zagai la. Father, as we have come, Lord, we pray that you draw us even near unto you. Le brandi ezele felinda zadi la brandi azada la brandi azoda la brandi azege de le brandi. Ya pa ende shadi le bosa kandi ya pate ashula brandi ezemeli akonda ya pa. Elete frede ezele di azonda la brandi ezege de le bosa tai. Lift up your voice and call unto him. He is worthy. He is able. He knows your voice and he can hear you. Rebedesh ke tai la bonde. The Bible says, as you behold, we become edible. Shakile brando, asete padi asataya. Elete brandi shakai la brando. Then open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Say, open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. Yeah, I want to see you. Open the eyes of my heart. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. I want to see you. Lord, I want to see you. To see you highly set up. Shining in the light of your glory. So, Lord, pour out your power and love. As we sing, holy, 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 to see you high and lifted up. You were shining, shining in the light of your glory. So pour out your power and love. As we sing, as we sing, holy, holy, holy. Say to see.
in on us. Hey! Every gate is on the line, and the lamb which said, This is holy moment. Abadesh Katak. When God walks in on us, yeah, every gate is on the line and the land. Yeah, Cause when the glory comes, there'll be no words to say. Yeah, oh,
are great, O Father, and there is none that compares unto you. You are strong, O Lord. You that has made the heavens and the earth. You are strong, our Father. You have broken wide the doors of the prison. You have delivered us from our chains, O God. You have delivered us from darkness. You have delivered us from sin. You have delivered us from depression. You have delivered us from failure. You have delivered us from confusion. You have delivered us from sickness. You have delivered us from every work of the devil, O God. And we bless your name tonight, O Father. We say you are glorified and you are good. We are thankful that you are with us. We are thankful, Father, that you think about us. We are thankful, Father, that you mean us well. And you desire to do us good, O Father. We bless your name, O Lord. Strong and almighty God. Full of wisdom, grace, and truth. We bless your name, Father. And we come to partake of your table tonight. Asking, let your spirit be present, O Father. Let your Holy Spirit be present. Let your presence be with us. Let chains be broken. Let hearts and minds be healed. Let relationships be restored. Let destinies be delivered, O Father. Turn around the life of your children, the lives of your children, O God. That your name may be glorified and be blessed now and forever. We thank you, Father, and we bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Let's clap and give a shout to the Lord as we welcome him to his house tonight. Amen, amen. We welcome you, Father. We welcome you, O Lord. We bless your name. Amen. Thank you so much, worship team. Let's appreciate them as they take their seats. Thank you for a wonderful job led by Pastor Pasi. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. How are you doing? You're looking forward to the Easter conference? Ask your neighbor how they are doing this evening. Elder Fundi, you don't have a neighbor. You can ask me how I'm doing. I'm fantastically blessed. Amen. Good, 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 good. So we thank God for giving us the opportunity to be here tonight for the Easter conference. This is a start. And we are going to be together to, tonight, tomorrow night for Kesha, Saturday evening after the men's fellowship in the afternoon and Sunday in the morning and the afternoon service. Amen. So by the grace of God, let us attend as Papa encouraged us so that we can partake fully of all that God has prepared for us. So let us take a moment to appreciate our Papa, the man of God who has called us here tonight to come and partake of the table of the Lord. A humble servant of God, a diligent servant of God, a man full of wisdom, a man full of grace, a man full of power, a man full of gentleness. We appreciate him. We do not take him for granted. He's a rare gift. So let us show him that we appreciate him. We appreciate Dr. Eunice and we appreciate their children. Amen. Wonderful, wonderful. Join me also in, in, in appreciating our in-house pastors, Pastor Liz, together with our household. We appreciate you, man of God. Prophetess Grace, together with your household, looking wonderful. Karibu sana to the house of God tonight. Uh, Elder Zablon and Elder Grace Zablon. Bishop Lanya, let's appreciate him. And Pastor Rewell and Pastor Leah Rewell. Asante I appreciate your neighbor as you descend to the comfort of your seats. Let them know that they are welcome and we value that they are here together with us. Let us also welcome our online viewers from wherever it is that they are watching us from. And I think I can see some who are tuned in. We have Florence Mudoni saying hallelujah. Ruth Wafula. Ruth Wafula must be abroad because she's saying good morning church. We have uh, Pastor Dennis that's a difficult name to pronounce, Boache, or is it Boakie? We have Violance, Naomi, Adu, Jifami, Jiamfi, Amuakoa, Melody, Mutuma, Dennis, Jacqueline, Atiambo, we know, and many others. So wherever you're watching us from online viewers, Karibuni Sana, you're most welcome to be with us tonight. We are asking you kindly, just tell us where you're watching us from. You can post it on YouTube, you can post it on Facebook, and whichever other channel that you're using to access the service tonight online. Kindly let us know where you are watching from and you are welcome. Let us appreciate them with a hand clap. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, our online viewers. We thank God that you are with us tonight. So media team, you can give us from the book of First Kings chapter, no, let us go through the roadmap first before we go to First Kings chapter 17. Please uh, put up for us our roadmap, um, media team. Good. So let's remind ourselves of this uh, wonderful roadmap. And we say that uh, Grace Arena, Grace Arena, 
No, 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 Wonderful. That is what we are about. Transforming lives and maximizing potential. How many believe their lives are going to be transformed and their potential is going to be maximized as we continue sitting under the ministration of the Holy Spirit in this part of the body of Christ. Amen. So let us see. What is our roadmap? We connect God through worship, prayer, and fellowship. We grow in the knowledge. We serve and we expand. Amen, amen, by the grace of God. Thank you, media team. You can give us First Kings chapter 17, verse 10. As the media team puts up that verse, tell your neighbor it's time to give and it's time to be blessed. So these are lovely scriptures that I'm sure we have read uh, um, so, so many times. But scripture is God-breathed, and there is always Rema. So let us just quickly remind ourselves of this story of the widow of Zarephath. Help me read, please, from verse 17 to verse uh, 16. Head together. So he arose, went to Zarephath, and when he came to the gate of the city, indeed a widow was there gathering sticks. And he called to her and said, Please bring me a little water in a cup that I may drink. And as she was going to get it, he called to her. Let's read together. He called to her and he said, Please bring me a morsel of bread in your hand. Uh -huh. So she said, As the Lord your God leads, I do not have bread, only a handful of flour in a bin and a little oil in a jar. And see... I am gathering a couple of sticks that I may go in and prepare it for myself and my son that we may eat it and die. And Elijah said to her, do not fear. Tell your neighbor, do not fear. Do not fear. Go and do as you have said. But make me, let's go on, but make me a small cake from it first and bring it to me and afterward make some for yourself and your son. For thus says the Lord God of Israel, The bin of flour shall not be used up, nor shall the jar of oil run dry, until the day the Lord sends rain on the earth. Uh -huh, the last two verses. So she went away and did according to the word of Elijah. And she and he and her household ate for many days. The bin of flour was not used up, nor did the jar of oil run dry, according to the word of the Lord which he spoke by Elijah. So it's a beautiful verse that we have read and uh, had expositions about so many times. And we see that in giving and in supporting the work of God, in standing with the ministry, standing with the work of God, God does not abandon you. God is able to multiply. God is able to preserve. And we have come to see that in the things of God, God desires for us to give. We give ourselves to him, and also he has already given himself to us. So we do not operate by amassing and pulling. We operate by giving and releasing. There is one that gives and yet multiplies his possessions. Because that is how the kingdom of God operates. It is contra contrary to how the kingdom of darkness operates. So as we give ourselves to the things of God, as we commit ourselves to the service of God, then we give God an opportunity to also partner with us to also bring a blessing and a preservation upon our lives. And many times we are told, even as Apostle Paul said, that he did not desire the gift, but he desired for the blessing that would have bound to the account of those that were giving. Because that is how the kingdom of God operates. When we think we are giving, actually we are receiving. Actually we are giving God an opportunity to rescue us. I was remembering the sto a story that um, um, I had several years ago from a man of God. And he was saying that there is a man he used to support in the house of God. So this gentleman would come and the pastor would give him food for sustenance, um, uh, uh, money for sustenance, and so on and so forth. And one day the Spirit of God told the man of God, don't give this man any more money. Ask him to give. 
instead. Instead of him taking from you, ask him to give. Because the spirit of God could see that this man was not operating the principles of the kingdom of God. And so he demanded for this man to operate the principles of the kingdom. And he started, and he saw the man of God told him, whatever you have in your pocket, leave it on the altar. And so the little money that this man had, he left it on the altar. And that is the last time that he asked for help. That is the last time that he was in need because something shifted in his life. And the man of God was telling us, and this was several years ago, that that man was giving a tithe of up to 30 million Kenya shillings. The same man who used to beg and used to ask for help. So we activate the principles of the kingdom of God so that we give God an opportunity to imbue us with power, to imbue us with his counsel and with his, with his wisdom and the ability to operate as he operates. Amen? So please prepare your gift, prepare your giving. Know that in giving, you are receiving and you are operating the principles of the kingdom of God. And indeed, you will be multiplied. If you have a tithe to give, or a pledge to redeem, the man of God will receive it as a minister. So if you're ready to give, we can raise our giving and we can dedicate it to God. <coughs> our Father and our God, we thank you for this opportunity of giving us to come to your house. We are grateful, oh Father, for we are, we are giving to you out of which you already have given us. We bless your name for your kindness and your goodness to others, O oh Lord. We thank you because you have multiplied us and you have enabled us tonight, my God, to be a blessing to your house. Father, we pray. Let your word be proven true tonight. Because God, you are true. Indeed, Father, you are not a false God. You are a true God. Everything you have said, you are able to make it come to pass. We answer tonight, prove yourself to your children, my God. As they raise up their hands to give you, my Father. Even those who do not have, but in their heart, oh God, they commit that they will give you, my God. We ask that God, you will prove yourself true. That their flour will never run out. That their oil will never run dry. That they will never be put to shame. That they will never lack school fees for their children. That they will never lack bread on their table, O oh Father. That their landlords will never kick them out. That you will multiply them and you will increase them, O oh God. And that your favor will abound upon them. That your name, O oh God, may be justified. That your name, O oh God, may be lifted. That, Father, your person may be proven to be true to the glory of your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen. So give with a cheerful heart and be blessed. Let's welcome the worship team with a clap. Generations, generations, after generations. 
to stand up and ask them, are they ready to pray? Joanne, are you ready to pray? Completely. Shout it out. Say, I am ready for prayer. And I am ready to receive. Amen, amen, amen. It's wonderful to have us here tonight. And we will go and pray and bless the name of the Lord our God. I will ask the media team to give us uh, the scripture from Revelation 19.5. Give us Revelation 19.5. And as the media team gives us this, please be encouraged that what you are doing is not in vain. There is no seed that is wasted in the kingdom of God. Whether good or bad. Let me say in this life, let me not, necessarily, not necessarily the kingdom of God. Because God has said, whatever we sow, we shall reap. So, if we sow in the kingdom of God, if we sow in the Spirit, we will reap eternal life. And all the components of eternal life. And he who sows in the flesh will from the flesh reap corruption. So it is not in vain that you are in the house of God this evening to pray. There is no prayer that is wasted. Remember what uh, Apostle Aforo told us a few weeks ago. That even the weakest prayer has strength. Even what you think is a weak prayer, it has strength. So even if you are feeble and you think that your prayer is of no consequence, those are just your thoughts. From the mouth of the Spirit of God is that your prayer has strength. The fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. 
So do not think that your prayer is dismissed before God. That your desire to fellowship with God is dismissed. He has a greater desire to be with you and to fellowship with you than you yourself have. And in this scripture we see the invitation to all of us to praise God. It is not just for those who are great, but also for those who are small. It is not just for those who are small, but for those who are great. So everybody has an invitation to worship God. Just like it says in Psalm 150 verse 6, that, um, that let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Say with me, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, the Lord's name is to be praised. So if you do not know what to do with your time, if you do not know what to do with your thoughts, praise the Lord. That one we are guaranteed. We are entitled to do. So if you do not have discipline, if you do not have something to do, just praise the Lord. That one we are welcome to do it from the rising of the sun. In your thoughts, in your deeds, in your words, in everything, let us praise the Lord. So the scripture says, then a voice came from the throne saying, praise our God, all you his servants, and those who fear him, both small and great. And the book of Revelation is full of a lot of description of how the worship of God happens in heaven without any restriction, without any confusion, without any hindrance. Because people are able to really see the manifestation of the greatness of God. And as we worship our God, what are we going to tell him? Let us look at Revelation 18, verse 8, even as we lift up the name of God. Revelation 18, 8. I love this scripture. Uh, Revelation 18, 8, please, media team. And this is the, these are the hosts of heaven worshiping God after he brought judgment on Babylon. And it says, therefore her plagues will come in one day, death and mourning and famine. And she will be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord God who judges us. Say, strong is the Lord God. Shout it, strong is the Lord God. <clears throat> the greater revelation, we, the better the revelation we have of God, the easier it is to worship him and to believe him and to abandon ourselves in his hands. And we need to know that our God is strong. He is exceedingly strong. There is nothing that is too hard for him. You may think that your situation is beyond him. The chains that have bound you are beyond him. The challenges that you are facing, of whatever nature, whether emotional, psychological, financial, physical, medical, you may think they are beyond God because of the way the devil has oppressed you. Because the Bible tells us that oppression can destroy the wisdom of the wise man. But this day, abandon that evil testimony and know that God is strong and there is nothing that can resist him. And we are told in the book of Psalm, give us Psalm 107.16, media team, Psalm 107.16. tells us that God has broken the gates of bronze and cut the bars of iron in two. So say with me, he has broken the gates of bronze and the bars of iron he has cut into two. So whatever chain you think has overwhelmed you, it is nothing before God. For you it may be great, it may be a mountain, but before God it is nothing. So open your mouth and lift him tonight. Tell him that he is strong. Tell him that he has broken the gates of bronze. Tell him that he is to be worshipped and to be praised from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. Let us worship God. Let's open our mouths and bless his name. Father, you are great. Father, you are exalted. Father, you are wonderful. Father, you are strong. You are strong, oh God. You are strong, Lord God Almighty. You are lifted up, oh God. There is nothing that is too hard for you. There is nothing that is too difficult for you. There is nothing that is too high for you, my God. Everything is naked before your eyes, oh God. You are strong, my Father. You are stronger than every circumstance that we are facing. You are stronger than every challenge that we are facing. You are stronger than our detractors, oh God. You are stronger than our discouragement. You are stronger than every sickness. You are stronger, God. You are stronger than every chain. You are stronger than every principality. You are stronger than every curse, oh God. You are strong. You are strong. You are strong, oh God. You are strong, oh King Eternal. You are strong, Lord God Almighty. You have broken the gates of bronze and the bars of iron. You have cut it to two. You have set us free, oh God. You have brought the captives to go free. You have broken white the gates of the prison. You have done well, oh Father. You have delivered us from every chain. You have delivered us from every bondage. 
great God and he's wonderful. The Bible says in the book of Revelation that who shall not fear you and give praise to you for your judgments have been made manifest. He's a great God. I want us to pray for the man of God. During the workers training the other Saturday, Papa reminded us of the story of Moses and Aaron and Har when they were fighting the Amalekites. And he said that uh, when Moses lifted up his hands, Joshua was prevailing over the enemies. But when Moses' hands were tired and he let them down, then the enemy would prevail against Joshua. And this reveals to us how the kingdom of God works. Where uh, I come from, together with Prophetess Grace, what do they say? So it means that if the leaders start limping, the rest will not make it. And that is evident in every situation. That with good leadership, people are able to go far. With bad leadership, then everybody suffers. No matter how great our efforts, there's a level they cannot get to if we do not have good leadership. And so we are told to pray for our leaders. Even the Apostle Paul has urged us. Pray for them. We normally see them as they should be praying for us. They sh we should be giving them our prayer requests. But who prays for them? They are also men of like passions, like we are told of Elijah in the book of James. So we need to uphold them in prayer by the grace of God. Remember what... Um, the neighbors went to pray for Dorcas to Apostle Peter. They brought that she has done this for us, she has done this for us. Please bring her back to life. So tonight let us go to God and tell him about the man of God, about our Papa, what he has done for us and what he's doing for the kingdom of God and for many other people. The many people that have been helped and been delivered, you and me in this ministry, the kind of cases he has dealt with, I know I have no capacity even to know how I could start helping such a person. But Papa has given himself to access the power of God, to be able to help those that are without help. Amen? He has sacrificed himself. And so he says that he has only three prayer requests. If you remember, he mentioned it. At least I had him mentioned it once. What are his prayer requests? Who remembers? Eh? More anointing. Eh? Long life. Eh? And money. Finances. So anointing, long life, and money. Amen? That is what he says those are his needs. Because with the anointing, then he's able to do the work of God. With money, he's able to be effective in ministry. And with long life, of course, it enables him to be on this earth and to minister on this earth where we need the giftings and the power of God. So let us take the man of God before God. Let us pray that God will increase the anointing upon his life as he has desired. May it be so. So let us pray for the anointing first and then we'll go to the other things. Father, we thank you for our father, Apostle David. We thank you for his desire, God, that he may be anointed. We thank you, Father, because with the anointing, oh God, he has not taken it for granted nor taken it in vain. But God, the anointing and the gift you have placed upon his life, he has labored, oh God. He has not taken the grace of God in vain, but he has labored in your vineyard, oh Father. We pray that you multiply the anointing upon his life. We pray that you multiply the anointing upon his life. We pray that you multiply the anointing upon his life. Increase his anointing, oh Father. Through him, oh God. Let the deaf hear. Let the blind see. Let the dumb speak. Oh God, through him, let cripples walk. Through him, let body parts be restored. Through him, let relationships be restored. Let families be delivered. Increase the anointing upon his life. Multiply the grace upon his life. Multiply the grace upon his life. For you are anointing upon him. Increase him, oh Father. His capacity to deliver. Give him the ability. Give him the strength, oh God. Enable him, oh Father. Let your anointing be poured upon him. 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 Help him, oh God. Be his help. Be his shade. Upon his right hand, oh Father, help the man of God, strengthen him, oh Father, be his help, be his rare guard, be his vanguard, oh Father, defend him, oh Father, lift him up where he's downcast, oh God, encourage him, oh God, protect him from every attack of the enemy, let you anoint him, oh Father, fight for him, let you anoint him, oh Father, fight for him, let you anoint him, oh Father, fight for him, to the glory of your name. Jesus' name. Amen.
Amen, 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 amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you for praying for the man of God. Let us pray that God will give him long life. That as he has desired, may God grant him long life. That he will live many days to serve God and to see the goodness of God in the land of the living. Father, we thank you. And we pray for long life for the man of God. We pray for long life for Apostle David. Oh God, preserve him. Oh God, keep him. Protect him from every attack. Protect him from every oppression, oh God. Protect him from every disease. Protect him from every accident. Give him long life and a good life. Give him long life and a quality life. May you strengthen his day, his arms, oh Father. May you lengthen his days. And as his years so shall his strength be. Let him be strong even in old age, my father. Give him strength all the days of his life. He will never fail. 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 He will be strong, oh father. His eyes will be strong like the eyes of Moses. His body will be strong like the body of Caleb. My father, you will preserve him. You will satisfy him with long life. Satisfy him with long life. You will satisfy him with long life. You will preserve him in the day of battle. You will preserve him in the day of trouble. You will deliver him, oh God. And with long life, you will satisfy him with long life. You will satisfy him. You will give him many days and good days, oh Father. He will see the goodness of God in the land of the living. Preserve a for of David. Do him good, oh Father.
materialistic prayer. It is a very spiritual prayer that the man of God should be wealthy and his ministry should be blessed. So with revelation, let us pray for that. Father, we thank you. Father, we pray that you will multiply the wealth of the man of God and of his ministry, oh Father. We pray that you will increase him, oh God. We pray that you will open, oh God, the windows and the doors of heaven and the gates of heaven and pour out a blessing that he will not have room to receive it, oh God. We ask that you multiply him in wealth. We pray that you will increase his wealth, O God. We pray that you will increase his wealth, O Father. Cause him to be wealthy. Increase him in finances, O God. Increase him in finances, O God. We pray that you will multiply him. Increase him, O God. Increase him, O God. Increase his finances, O God. Bless him, O Father, with wealth. Bless him, O Father, with wealth. We pray that you open the windows and the doors and the gates of heaven. Let the wealth of the darkness be released to the man of God. Oh God, give him wealth. 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 Multiply him. Increase him, O God. Help him, O Father. You will increase wealth upon his life, God. Give him peace, God. Give him business opportunities, O Father. Multiply him, O Father. Increase him, O God. We pray that wealth will come upon his life. We pray that wealth will come upon his life. We pray that wealth will come upon his life. of God shall prosper in his hand. Amen. In Isaiah 53, um, it says that the, 
the, the, the desire of God will prosper in the hands of Jesus. <clears throat> so the desire of God will prosper through the man of God. So let us pray that none of his words will fall to the ground empty, but they will be fulfilled and fulfilled speedily. Amen. Let us pray. Thank you, Father God, for the blessing and the anointing upon the man of God. Thank you for the prophetic ministry, O oh God, that you have given him. Father, we pray that God, none of his words will fall to the ground. None of his words will fall to the ground. None of his words will fall to the ground. None of his words will fall to the ground. That you will be attentive to whatever he says, O oh God. That Father, whatever the man of God says, it shall come to pass. Whatever the man of God says, it shall come to pass. None of his words shall fall to the ground. None of his words shall fall to the ground. None of his words shall fall to the ground.
shall be redeemed the curses shall be broken we shall have protection in the mighty name of Jesus we appropriate the power in the blood and we decree and declare that have your way in our lives this season in Jesus much less name have we prayed and everyone shouted and said amen, amen. somebody I want I didn't know I did not say whisper and say amen I said shout and say amen come on put your hands together for Jesus do you have your communion wine lift it up now today and tomorrow I will just be speaking about the blood somebody say the blood somebody say the blood now if you did not come with one I asked guys to get us communion ready in case you didn't come with a communion wine or for one reason or the other you did not know just raise your hand we, we shall get you one we shall get you some communion um, that you can take home hear me and hear me well ladies and gentlemen something big is about to happen 
Now, if somebody came with communion wine and bread or whatever, just look at it, scrutinize it for me, and see what is written thereon, so that we know we are we are in peace. We don't we don't we don't want violence in this house. Hallelujah. We don't want violence. Check what they are holding, whether it is born again. Now, give me Galatians chapter 3, verses 13 to 14 from the message translation. Galatians 3, 13. Somebody shout the blood. Now, I want you to, tonight and tomorrow, we are appropriating the blood. Somebody shout the blood. Now, I want you to shout it like your voices. You'll say the blood. Now, the other day, the Bible said the night before Jesus was crucified, he, paid, he took wine and said, this is my blood. He literally spoke over physical wine and the wine's chemical composition was changed into becoming blood. And he later also picked bread and broke it and said, this is my body. The chemical composition of the blood of the bread now changed and it also became the body of Christ. Now hear me. In as much as you bought that drink from a shop after today, it is no longer a common drink that you are holding. It shall be metamorphosed into the blood of Jesus. Amen. And any reason and any way you apply it, there shall be results in the name of Jesus. Jesus. If you are watching online, pick communion wine and pick bread. Find something to signify the blood and the body of Christ right now before we zoom into prayer. I'm telling you something supernatural is about to happen. I said something supernatural is about to happen. Amen. One thing that the blood is going to do for you is going to give you access. Somebody shout access. Access. Somebody shout access. Access. Somebody shout access. access. Shout access. Access. Shout by the token of the blood. By the token of the blood. I receive divine access. I receive divine access. Now, I want you to, we are not here for another sermon. We are here to undertake a prophetic action. Are you hearing me? And the way your attitude will determine the results that you are going to get after today. Are you hearing me? Yes. Shout by the talking of the blood. By the talking of the blood. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I have divine access. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say by the talking of the blood. By the talking of the blood. I have divine access. I have divine access. I have divine access. I have divine access. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now, before even we go, let's speak over what you are holding. Say in the name of Jesus. The name, name of Jesus. Jesus. This wine, this wine, loses it at least significance. Loses it at least significance. This drink, this drink, loses it at least significance. Loses it at least significance. This juice, this juice, loses it at least significance. Loses it at least significance. It becomes, it becomes the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. We decree and declare. We decree and declare by the power, by the power in the blood, in the blood. We decree and declare. We decree and declare the power of the. The blood the power of the is, blood. Infused is infused into this drink into this in drink. the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus. by the power of the blood the of we, the decree and declare, we decree and declare as we take this drink as we take this drink, every power every power embedded in the blood embedded in the blood shall be released into our lives into, into our, our families into our families. in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus every benefit of the blood every benefit of we the decree blood. and declare it's released. It's released. It's released. It's released. It's released. It's released. Into our lives. In the name of Jesus. We decree and declare. By the power of the blood. 
by the reason of the blood we have redemption by the reason of the blood we have divine access by the reason of the blood we decree and declare we have divine access by the reason of the blood we are delivered by the reason of the blood we are healed by the reason of the blood we decree and declare by the power of God deliverance is our portion by the reason of the blood addiction is broken by the reason of the blood sin is broken by the reason of the blood bondages are broken by the reason of the blood we decree and declare deliverance is our portion 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 in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Are you ready to pray? Yes. Shout by the reason of the blood. By the reason of the blood. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. I enter. I enter. My season. My season. Of prosperity. Of prosperity. By the reason of the blood. By the reason of the blood. Every yoke. Every yoke. Every limitation. Every limitation. In my life. In my life. Is broken. Is broken. By the reason of the blood. By the reason of the blood. Every accuser. Every accuser. Accusing me. Accusing me. I decree and declare. I decree and Catch fire. fire by the reason of the blood. By the reason of the I blood. decree and declare, I declare, I declare. Preservation. preservation, protection, protection. In, the in the name of Jesus, 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 I activate, I activate my deliverance, my deliverance. tonight. Tonight. By the reason, By the reason of, the blood, of the blood, we decree and declare, we decree and declare total deliverance, total deliverance, total deliverance, total deliverance, total deliverance in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Give me Romans chapter five before we come to Galatians. Romans chapter five, from verse two. Romans five two. Ladibo shabadabaya. Let's be fast as much as we can. Romans chapter 5 verses 2. Shall we read one go? Okay, start from verse 1. Uh-huh. Having been justified by faith, we have peace through he says, number one, we have what? Peace. Through what? God. Through what? God. Through God, through our Lord oh, Jesus God. Christ. By that which Christ did on the cross, your peace was paid for. Yeah. After today, yes. any distressing situation in your life, yes. anybody that the enemy sent to destabilize your peace, Yes. Lika tu badia azona makatoshe. Yes. I decree and declare. Yes. By the reason of the blood. Yes. By the reason of the blood. 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 We decree and declare. Our peace is established. Our peace is established. We walk in peace. We walk in peace. Peace on the job. Peace on the job. Peace in our homes. Peace in our homes. Peace with our children. Peace with our children. Peace in our families. Peace in our peace in the Marriage, peace in the peace marriage. in the relationship. Peace in the relationship. I profess. I profess. I profess. I profess. By the reason of the blood, by the reason of the we blood. enforce the peace of God. The, the, peace peace of God. Peace of God. The, the peace of God. 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 The pe
I'm going to the other side. No shout it like you mean it. Say, I'm going to the other side. I'm going to the other side. And today, something interesting happened. Uh, one of the great preachers, um, um, Jim O'Brien, was talking about how um, um, in church, a certain lady says that this thing of tend to your neighbor, they don't like it. Says, um, somebody was complaining that this thing of the man of God saying tend to your neighbor, it's like they are being forced to do something they don't want to do. Do you like tend to your neighbor? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Says, says, tend to, tend to, tend to your neighbor and say, neighbor, I'm going to the other side. Say, I'm going to the other side. And my other side shall be my new house. My other side shall be my promotion. My other side shall be a new job. My other side shall be elevation. My other side shall be favor. My other side shall be a 
loud marriage of the night prophesy to my other side. It shall come with favor. It shall come with favor. It shall come with promotion. It shall come with hope. 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 In First Samuel chapter one, the Bible talks about the woman by the name of Hannah, and Scripture declares in First Samuel one, Hannah was in tears. She was crying in Shiloh every now and then. She was complaining why she does not have a child, and she will cry and see pain and 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 compare herself to Penina. And the Bible says in First Samuel chapter one, everything that Hannah saw was pain, struggle, tears. But when we enter chapter two, the Bible. Says and Hannah begins to sing, and my soul rejoice in the Lord. In chapter one, she was in pain. In chapter one, she was crying. In chapter one, she was complaining. But by the time they enter chapter two, she began to sing praises unto God. Yes. I lift a prayer over your head. Yes. By the time we enter the coming month, yes. may you begin to worship the Lord yes. and say, Thank you, Jesus, yes. for my new job. Yes. Thank you, Jesus, Thank you, for Jesus. my new marriage. Yes. Thank you, Jesus, Thank you, for Jesus. the new car. Yes. As we enter. A new month, yes. I prophesy. Yes. A new chapter, 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 a new chapter. In the name of Jesus. Lead by hand, up, brass, cap, and up, high. I'm singing. See, he says, First Samuel chapter two begins, and Hannah prayed and said, My heart. Rejoice in the Lord. My horn is exalted in the Lord. I smile at my enemies. I prophesy. Satire. Can I prophesy over your life? Prophesy. In chapter one, she was crying. Yes. Chapter one, she was in pain. Yes. Chapter one, life was difficult. Yes. But in chapter two, yes. Anna said, "My heart rejoice in the Lord." I prophesy over your life. Yes. Jehovah God shall make you rejoice. The Lord will make your family rejoice. The Lord will make you rejoice. The Lord will make you rejoice. Shout, I shall rejoice. 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 If you have ever been rejected before, yeah. you have seen rejection, you have seen pain, you have seen suffering, you have seen frustration. Yes. Some of you, there is nothing happy, nothing joyful, nothing exciting that you have ever seen. But like Hannah, you shall pray and say, yeah. Oh Lord, my heart is rejoicing. Yes. Jehovah God shall exalt your heart. Yes. The Lord shall give you a new chapter, a new song. If you are here, shout. They receive. I receive. He says, "My horn is exalted in the Lord." Uh, you know, when you say my horn is exalted, the word horn signifies authority. In other words, I have been, I have been, I have been increased in power. I am walking in influence, in authority. Can I tell you something? Yes. Some of you in the offices, people are fighting you. Yes. But within the next one month, yes. hey, Yakatupa Lasuata, the Lord shall exalt your horn. You shall have dominion. You shall have influence. If you are here, shout, I receive it. Shall I receive it? I smile at my enemies. Can I tell you something? Yes. After today, yes. May you smile at your enemies. I smile. Uh, at they will look at you and you'll be smiling. smiling. They'll be wondering why you are so blessed. Yes. They'll be wondering why God has changed your life. Yes. They'll be wondering why things are happening for you. Yes. I decree and declare yes. in the name of Christ Jesus, yes. our yes. Lord. May God grant you favor. Oh, may you smile at your enemies. Oh, if you are here, shout I receive. I receive. Shout by shout in this Easter. 
In this Easter, I receive an uncommon testimony. 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 In the name of Jesus. I receive it. See, yesterday, a certain lady sent me a testimony. She came here with her siblings and we prayed. And, and she lives all the way in Karatina in a village. And somebody she sent, somebody sent a message to come for an interview. Number one, a job she had not applied for. Number one. Number two, when the interview was sent, the day they was given the interview, they changed it. Now, then they called her. I mean, the one that was supposed to invite her for the second interview did not invite her. So she actually thought it was a scam or something like that. She ignored it. She came and we prayed and said, God is going to still open that door. Guess what? Strangely, somehow they called for her and said, why have you not come for the interview? She says, oh, I was not called. She went for the interview. A village girl. She says, Papa, when I got there, I mean, people, the, the man that was interviewing me told me I have been instructed to give you the job. Now, guess what? Glory. The person that said, had, in, had told the man that has instructed him, he says, I don't know this man. I don't know him from anywhere. It's not like I have any connection. Number two, she had no qualification. She's been given a job. She's seated in an office. Say, Papa, now people knock at my door. They bring me tea. She says, hey. I have never seen anything like that. Can I tell you something? Yes. A little village girl. Yes. Can I prophesy over you? Can I prophesy? Yes. What you did not even pray for. Yes. May Jehovah bring it to your door. Yes. May Jehovah bring it to your door. Yes. May Jehovah bring it to your door. Yes. Yes. If you are here, shall I receive? I receive it. May you receive uncommon favor. I receive it. 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 I receive it. I receive it. Let's go to the next one. Say by the blood. Let's go to the main. Let's go to the main scripture. Romans five. Uh -huh. Romans five one. He said, therefore, having been justified by faith, we have what? We've gone through somebody shout, I have peace. I have peace. peace. By the blood. By, by the blood. But every, every blessing that you get, you, you will get in Christ is through the death of Jesus. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Him being crucified on the cross actually appropriated certain blessings for us. Every single drop of blood that came out of Jesus actually established a certain covenant for you and I. Are you following me? Yes, sir. The Bible says, without blood, there can be no covenant that can be established. You see, there was, the way when you are given a contract, you sign to say that you have actually um, 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 read, understood, and agreed to the contract. In the scriptures, in the days of old, what happened is that for a covenant to be established, there must be blood. Blood must be shed. Blood must be put on. Now, every single blood that came out of Jesus yes. established a certain kind of blessing for you and I. Yes. Are you getting me? Yes, sir. Are you following me? Yes, sir. Are you following me? Yes, yeah, you see, the Bible says that a curse without a cause will not what? Stand. Will not what? Stand. A curse without a cause will not what? Stand. Now, anytime, when you read the book of Genesis, the Bible talks about how um, 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 Abel's, um, um, when Cain killed Abel, the Bible says Abel's blood is crying. Now, blood has a voice. Somebody say, blood has a voice. Blood has a voice. So, when blood is shed, the blood cries and speaks. See, the, the Bible says Abel's blood cried from the ground. But the Bible talks in the book of Hebrews chapter 12 that Jesus' blood speaks. Somebody say the blood speaks. The blood speaks. Shall we say the blood speaks? The blood speaks. Now for Abel's blood, it was crying. But Jesus' blood is what? Speaking. Now the Abel's blood is a, a lower blood. Why? Because it is just crying, lamenting, in pain. But when Jesus' blood touched the ground, the Bible says the blood was what? Speaking. Now, um, 
my God, I feel like going ahead of myself for tomorrow's sermon. Uh -huh. Now, this is it. Now, when the blood speaks, it communicates. Somebody say it communicates. It communicates. When we say somebody is speaking, that means they are making sense. They are saying something that you can understand and can respond to. That is why in the days of old, in the book of Exodus, before the children of Israel crossed over into Egypt, before they left Egypt, the Bible said, God instructed them to apply the blood by their doorposts. Somebody say, apply the blood. Apply the blood. Shall they say, apply the blood. Apply the blood. God instructed them that every house should kill a lamb. Yes. And they should apply the blood of the lamb at their doorposts. Mm. Are you hearing me? Yes, yes, sir. And the Bible says, the Lord said to them, at night, the angel of destruction will pass by. And when the angel sees the blood, the angel will pass by the house of the people that had the blood. Now, and we have understood that blood speaks. Somebody say blood speaks. Blood, blood speaks. speaks. You see, angels don't really understand physical things because they are spiritual beings. Now, when the angel at night started killing in the house, in the land of Egypt, mm. the Bible says every firstborn mm. of the Egyptians were killed, both man and beast. Now, when the angel gets to a house, it enters the house and kills both firstborns of both man and beast. But when the angel gets to the house of a child of, a child of God, mm. they saw what? The they saw what? The so there was a communication there. Immediately the angel sees the blood. The blood begins to speak to the angel. Yes. This is the house of David Yes. This is the house of a child of God. Yes. Pass over. over. That night was called the night of pass over. over. The reason why we they came up with the name pass over is what I'm trying to explain to you. They applied the blood at the adopus. Yes. So when the angel of death goes to the house of a child of God, yes. what happens is that when the angel saw the blood, the angel will look at the blood and the blood will speak to the angel. Yes. This is the house of a child of ah. God. Pass ah. over. And then the angel will pass over to the next house. Yes. See the house, there is no blood. Yes. Strike the firstborn. Strike the firstborn of the beast. Yes. Go to the next house. Yes. See another blood at the door. Yes. And the blood will communicate. Yes. This is the house of Laga. Yes. You cannot kill here. Yes. Yes. Can I prophesy over your life? Yes. Today, by the reason of the blood, yes. in the spirit of death, yes. hovering over your life, yes. we declare Passover. 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 When the angel sees your house, yes, and they are sending disease to your house, yes, yes. they will say, This is the house of a child of God. Yes, pass over. When they come to your door, yes, and they are bringing poverty to your door, yes, by the reason of the blood, yes, the blood will speak to the angel, yes, this is the house of a child of God. Yes. Pass over. At tonight, this night of the Passover, yes, I decree and declare, yes, evil shall pass over your house. Pass over. Poverty shall pass over your house. Pass over. Sickness shall pass over your house. Pass over. Strange diseases shall pass over your house. Pass over. Any evil case assigned against you, yes. yes. Declare Passover. 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 Any evil sent to your house, yes. somebody shall pass over. Pass over. No, no, no. I want you to understand what is happening here. This is not a game, this is a spiritual activity. Yes. Why is it that every Israelite's house was passed over? Yes. And the house of the Egyptians, they were killed and they saw death and they saw evil. You are by the reason of the blood. 
you are a spiritual Israelite. You share in the Abrahamic covenant. Every blessing that the house of Israel possesses, you possess it. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. And today we are declaring, yes. Yes. by the token of the blood, yes. we declare a Passover. A Passover. 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 Hear me. By the mandate of Jehovah. Yes. In this assignment of the enemy. Yes. Against your children. Yes. Against your household. Yes. I decree and declare. Yes. Passover. 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 Thank you, Holy Spirit. When they take you to a witch doctor, yes. and the assignment is to kill you, yes. we declare Passover. When they take you to a baba. Yes. A voodoo, a sound cover. Yes. Wherever they take you, yes. they can take you to Kitui. Yes. They can take you to Arusha. Yes. They can take you to Beni. Yes. Take you to Nigeria. Yes. It doesn't matter. Yes. What you know is that that evil shall pass over you. Passover. By the reason of the blood, yes. we declare Passover. 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 In the name of Jesus, we will serve you. We have you close. We have you. We will serve you. By the token of the blood. By the token of the blood. The peace of God is my portion. The peace of God is my portion. So as I was saying in Mark chapter 4, Jesus gets into the boat and they are going to the other side and the Bible says a storm comes to hit the boat. And the scripture declares that um, he said, let, let go to the next verse. But he was in the stand asleep on a pillow and they awoke him and said to him, teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? The disciples were in the boat with Jesus. And you see, they were still scared that they were going to die. I remember some years ago, 
um, as a student, as an engineering student, this scripture actually saved my life. Uh, we're going to do an exams. I mean, one of our engineering units, um, I remember it was called data structures. And uh, the course, that professor, I don't know whether he's still there in that institution, he had purpose that he will fail certain people. And I could tell because of the how notorious I was, I was going to be one of the people he was going to fail. So when we were going to write the exams, I was reading and reading. I was literally stressed because I knew what I have done to him and I know this is the time that that museum was going to pay me back. So as I was reading and reading, my spiritual father sent me a test. He says, David, with Jesus in the boat, it shall be well with you. You know what I did? I closed the book and I stopped reading. I said, I have already passed. I don't care. You see, just that test, he says, I will never forget that thing. You know, there are some things that happen in your life you don't forget. He, he says to me, with Jesus in the boat, you will sail over the storm. Just with that, I said, I closed the book. I said, I don't, whatever come, come on, buy and buy. Whatever comes, should come. Me, I'll pass this test. And guess what? I passed. <laughs> hear me and hear me well. Sometimes we forget who we are with in the battle. Tell your neighbor, I'm not alone. I am not alone. Shout it, I'm not alone. I am not alone. You need to have the consciousness of the fact that there is a mighty man of war that is with you in that battle. You are not alone. Yes. You cannot lose that battle. Yes. It doesn't matter who is coming out against you. No, you are not alone. Shout, I'm not alone. I am not alone. Shout, I'm not alone. I am not alone. I have Jesus in my boat. I have, I have Jesus, Jesus in, in my, my boat. boat. Have you know this song? Do you know it? Yes. Okay, wait, we are going to do it. Start pre pre preparing it in your head. Now, hear me. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. Neighbor. I have Jesus in my boat. Uh. Now, you need to understand whatever battle that shall come out against you, you shall win that battle. Amen. Shout it, I will win that battle. I will win that, that battle. battle. Shout it, I will win that warfare. I will, I will win, win that, that warfare. warfare. In the name of Our Jesus. Jesus. So, go back to the scripture. Jesus said, when they woke Jesus up, he said, do you not care that we are perishing? The next verse. Then he arose and rebuked there. Shall we read one go? Now, this particular verse does not really make natural sense. If you are to do an analytical reading to this particular scripture, the Bible says, so he arose and rebuked the wind and said, peace, be still. Why would Jesus rebuke the storm and call the storm peace, be still? He should say, wind, be still. Are we here? Yes. Because the wind was the one that was boisterous. So he should have said, wind, be still. But he said, peace, be still. Now, the revelation here is this, ladies and gentlemen. Jesus is a creator. He was there at the place and at the time of creation. So he understands what was actually wrong at the time. The problem was not the storm that was, I mean, boisterous. The real situation was that it was the peace on the sea that was shaking. Okay. Let me, let me, let me make it, a, let me, let me bring it home. You see, you see, there are some things that are not real. Darkness is not real. Darkness is the absence of light. All right? Yes. Yeah. Cold is not real. Cold is the absence of heat. The coldness it can get, if you have been to school a little, is absolute zero. But the, there is no highest temperature it can get. Are you following me? Yes, sir. Are you following me? Yes. So sir. cold is actually not real. Cold is the absence of heat. 
actually storms are no will storms are the absence of peace so when jesus saw the storm he called it by his real name and said peace be still peace be still when there's peace in your marriage is destabilized that is when you see storms in the marriage so instead of calling the storm to come down, peace. you declare peace in this marriage. Uh, be still. Uh, peace on the job. Be still. Be still. Today we enforce the peace of God uh, over us. every aspect of your life. Yes. We decree peace. peace. 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 In the name of Jesus. Jesus. So Jesus said, peace be still. And he is the author of peace. He's the prince of peace. So he carries with himself peace. So even if the storm did not want to silence itself, he is an embodiment of peace. On the sea, there is no storm yes. that can overrule him. Yes. Today I decree. Yes. Let the Prince of Peace step in your situation. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anything overwhelming your heart, yes. let the Prince of Peace step in that situation. Step in. in your health, let the Prince of Peace step there. Step in. in the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. Let's go to the next one. Yeah, let's go to Mark, um, Romans 5. Romans 5, verse 1. Uh huh. Shall we read one go? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Number two. Through whom also we have what? Somebody said today, today, I receive divine access. I receive divine access. Can I tell you something? One of the greatest things you can have is access. Somebody say access. Access. Where you have access to places without restriction, without limitation, you have access to certain people. Some of you, when you get to state house, they welcome you and salute you. Some of you also, you get, who, who sent you here? The soldiers will literally drive you away to go back to wherever you came from. Are you getting me? Yes. Somebody shout, I receive divine access. I receive, I receive divine, divine access. access. Shout, I receive divine access. I receive, I receive divine, divine access. access. After today, anybody you desire to access, yes. yes. By the token of the blood, yes. yes. I declare you shall have divine access. 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 In the place you desire to access, you shall have access. I receive it. Unlimited access. I receive it. Shout, I receive it. I receive it. Can I declare over your life? Yeah. You shall not be denied access anywhere. I receive it. In the place, in the office you desire to go. Yes. I declare have access. I receive it. I declare receive access. I receive it. Receive divine 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 access. I receive divine access. I receive, receive divine access. I receive in the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. God is going to give you the by the token of the blood. Yes. You are going to have divine access. I receive 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 in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Do you know? Before Jesus died, you, the, 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 the children of Israel, at the time, they could not enter the Holy of Holies. There was a veil that separated the Holy of Holies from the holy place. The farthest they could go was the holy place. It was only the high priest that could assess the Holy of Holies. But the same day Jesus hung on the cross, the Bible says that when the last, he breathed his last and he died, that same minute, the curtain that separated the Holy of Holies from the holy place was yes. torn into two. Yes. Can I tell you something? Yes. It signified yes. from today. Yes. You don't need a prophet to pray for you. Yes. You can pray for yourself. Yes. Yes. Let me tell you, in those days, every prayer was made by the high priest. He will collect your prayers, go into the Holy of Holies, and pray on the behalf of you. Are you hearing me? Yes. Sir. Yes. And if you 
those days, all the, the everyone will come with the goats and the sheep. The high priest will collect your goat and collect your sheep. Somebody say collect. Collect. So imagine you, you didn't have a goat. Every time you, you come empty-handed. The high priest will look at you, you, you are a stubborn member. <laughs> you, so the high priest can go into the Holy of Holies. And maybe he may not mention your name in the Holy of Holies. Because when the guy goes in there, it is between him and God. Nobody knows what goes on there. And the interesting thing is that the guy can even die in the Holy of Holies if he has committed a sin. But from the day Jesus died and his last drop of blood touched the ground, the veil that separated the Holy of Holies from the holy place was torn into two. And the Bible says, from that day, every one of us yes. has access. access. That is why in Hebrew it says, let us come boldly to the throne of grace when obtain mercy and find help. My God, can I tell you something? Yes. yes. After today, you have divine access. I, I said you have divine access. I, I said you have divine access. I, I receive it. I said you have divine access. I receive it. Give me, start from verse 49. Matthew 27. Let's start from verse 49. Let's start from verse 49. Now, shall we read one go? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Verse 50. Now, now Jesus cried out. Now, again with what? A loud voice. That was when he was on the cross. And he yielded up his spirit. That is when he died. Immediately he died. What happened? Next verse. Uh-huh. Then behold, shall we read? The veil of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom and the earth quaked and the rocks were splitting. Now hear me. The revelation here was that the veil in the temple, it was not torn from bottom to top. It was torn from top to bottom. Signifying something. If it was from the bottom to the top, it could be said it was a man that cut it. But if it's from the top, no hand cut it. Jehovah God himself broke those veil and tore it into two yes. and said from today yes. Lanya can go into the Holy of Holies yeah. Lisbeth can go into the Holy of Holies yeah. yes. Lucy can go into the Holy of Holies yes. I, it doesn't matter what you did or didn't do yes. you have access 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 somebody shout I receive divine access I receive divine access from today you have divine access. I receive it. That's why when you read Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16, the Bible says, let us therefore come boldly. Somebody say, come boldly. Come boldly. Give me Hebrews 4 16. Come boldly to, say, read one, go. Come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find to help in time of need. Now, this is a power, powerful scripture. The Bible says, let us therefore come what? Boldly. Really, come what? Boldly. To where? To the, the throne, throne of, grace. of grace. Every any time you come to the house of God, the house of God is what we call the throne of grace. Somebody say the throne of grace. A throne of grace. You come here not just to be fed with the word, to receive grace. Somebody shout grace. Grace, grace proceeds from this altar to you. That is why when I, I like some of my sons and daughters when uh, uh, who are pastors, uh, he says, man of God, when it means he says, we salute grace. In other words, there is grace on your life that you are releasing unto people. We honor that grace that is upon you. Now, hear me and hear me well. He said, let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain what? Have you sometimes you, you have done something maybe on Saturday and you are coming to church and you feel like you are not confident. Have you been there? Yes. Sir. You, you feel like you feel like you don't even deserve to come to the house of God. Yes. Sir. Do I have a witness? Yes, sir. Why are you pretending as if you have not done it? Even last Saturday, some of you you did bad. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes. You have done something wrong. You are coming to the house of God and you feel you feel mm, you feel condemned. You feel guilty. You feel like you don't deserve it. But Jesus said, "Let us come boldly." To the throne of grace, grace that we may obtain what? When you come mercy. to the throne of grace, the first thing you obtain is mercy. mercy. In other words, God has to first exempt you from judgment. Because when he looks at you and the messes around your life and the bad things you have done, the first thing he has to give you is what? Mercy. mercy. He exempts you from judgment. And then he gives you grace. 
Hello, Prasidabaya. He, he exempts you from judgment. He doesn't judge you. He calls you. He declares you guiltless. And then he gives you unmerited favor. Favor you don't merit. Jobs you don't merit. Life you didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you don't merit. And yes. everything that you receive from the throne of grace is unmerited favor. favor. Grace. Yes. I pray for you. Yes. By the reason of the blood. Yes. yes. May you have divine access. I receive it. 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 Divine access. In the name of Jesus. I receive it. The last thing that the blood is going to do for you, the first one said, I had, it gives you protection. Somebody shall protection. Protection. By the reason of the blood, you and your household is going to be protected. Amen. Evil shall pass by over, shall pass over your house. Somebody shall pass over. Pass over. 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 Pass over. Pass over. Pass over. Pass over. Number two, I said it brings you peace. Somebody say peace. Peace. And I said it gives you divine access. Somebody shall divine access. Divine access. Shall divine access. Divine access. Shall divine access. Divine Shall divine access. Divine access. By the reason of the blood, I prophesy. Prophecy. You shall have divine access. I receive. I said you shall have divine access. I receive. I said you shall have divine access. I receive. I said you shall have divine access. I receive. I said you shall have divine access. I receive. Shall, I receive divine access. I receive divine access. 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 Now let me talk about healing, and then and maybe tomorrow I will, I will embellish the rest of the points. Now. The blood activates your healing. Somebody say healing. 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 Shout healing. 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 By the reason of the blood, your health is guaranteed. Amen. Your healing is assured. Amen. Your protection is assured. Amen. If you are here, shout, I receive it. I receive, I receive it. it. Any sickness in your body. Yes. By the token of the blood. Yes. Now lift the blood up. Lift it up. Lift it up. Shala, but it is no more juice or anything. It is now what? Hey, somebody shall blood. Blood. Shall blood. Blood. Now, you are not going to use it like the usual way you use it. You are, going to, you are not going to just drink it. You are going to undertake. Those, that, so those of you that did not come with blood by yourself, this is what you are going to you, you are not going to take it here because you are going to apply some by your door. Hey, somebody say by my door. By my door. Every door in your house. That yes. is if the house is yours. Don't go and apply by your landlord's door, please. See, the house is not yours. If the house is not yours, it is not yours. Apply it by your door. You, your door. If the house is yours, the entire house, then you apply by everybody's door. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, every door you apply. Even your house help everybody. If they don't understand, they should leave the house. Are you getting me? Yes. Now, you apply it by your door. And you declare, my house is marked by the blood. Evil shall pass over this house. Poverty shall pass over this house. Shame shall pass over this house. Disgrace shall pass over this house. Evil shall not come near your door. If you are here, shout, I receive it. I receive it. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So you are applying some of the blood by your door. And you declare, evil shall not come to your household. Amen. Evil shall not come to your household. Amen. Say by the reason of the blood. By the reason of the blood. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Divine healing is my portion. Divine healing is my portion. Healing is my portion. Healing is my portion. Healing is in my family. Healing is in my family. Everybody that takes this blood. Everybody that takes this blood. Shout it. Everybody that takes this blood. Everybody that takes this blood. We declare they are healed. 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 In the name of Jesus. Let me tell you one story. The first time I saw healing through communion in a church in Croydon in South London, I had gone there to preach. To do a conference. It was an Easter conference like this. And then I'd been invited to preach in a conference. And I, I was preaching. And the first day, I made them have communion. And there was a lady who had certain black spots on her leg. Black spots. You know, it's, it was a strange sickness. It has been there from whatever time. 
black spots all over her legs. Beautiful girl. But everywhere of her legs was black, funny, funny spots. And it could be seen. So when she took the communion on Friday, God is my witness. By Sunday, the black spots had disappeared. Amen. It had literally disappeared from her body. Today, I don't know whatever sickness that is in your blood. Yes. Any sickness in your bone. Yes. Any sickness in your body. Yes. We prophetically declare. Yes. Let there be healing. 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 If there is anyone sick in your family, take some of the communion to them. And let them take it. I can assure you. I'm telling you, some of you, even by tomorrow, you shall be testifying. Amen. By Sunday, you shall see deliverance and healings in your body. Amen. Amen. If you are here, shout, I receive it. I, I receive it. it. We are taking a prophetic action and we are declaring this. Every sickness in your body, shout in the name of Jesus. In, in the, the name, name of Jesus. By the reason of the blood. By the reason of the blood. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Every sickness in my body. Every sickness in my body. Is healed. 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 Come on, lift up your voice. Healing is my portion. Healing is my portion. By the reason of the blood. By the reason of the blood. I am healed. I am healed. Set free. Set free. Delivered. Delivered. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now the Bible says, by his stripes we were what? Yes. And tomorrow I will make you understand why the stripes of Jesus affected our healing. Jesus was given 39 stripes at his back. 39. They shipped him 39 like this. 39 stripes at his back. And medically, they, all diseases in the world can be categorized into 39 different categories. So every stripe took care of one category. Stripe 
took care of the next category. Strike took care of the next category. I pray for you. Mazimali Gadua Every form of infirmity in your body. Yes. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes. We decree and declare. Yes. yes. By the reason of the blood. Yes. They are healed. Is healed. Is healed. Is healed. Is healed. Is healed. Is healed. In the name of Jesus. It is done. Now keep your communion somewhere. Because now you are going to take it in the house with your relatives and your family. And before you take some, you put some, you put some in your hands and anoint your house. Are you hearing me? You mark your house. You don't who says you should sit? My friend, get up. <laughs> we are not done. This is first half. Hey. <laughs> now you see you, you are seated. Me, I'm going to stand. Tomorrow I will stand. Tomorrow I will start standing from 4 p.m. Because I'm preaching somewhere before I mean from 4, finish, go home, come back here from Kesha, stand like six hours, go sleep. Go again, preach again at 2 p.m., finish, come to men's fellowship, finish, sleep a little, wake up, come and do first service, finish, go and preach somewhere, finish, come back and do second service. So you have no reason to sit. At least you are sharing in my pain. You understand how it is to be a preacher. Are you getting me? Shout in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. By the reason of the blood. By the reason of the blood. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. My family members are healed. My family members are healed. Now I want us to take the last prayer before you sit down. This morning we interceded for family. Somebody say for family. For family. How many of you were on the broadcast? Those of you that don't watch me in the morning. Every morning I am online on YouTube and on Facebook. In fact, there are some people who come here in the service to pray. So they join us, we pray. So the least you can do is to join in because one hour prayer can save you a lot of issues. Are you hearing me? So every morning, make sure you are you log on 7 a.m. in the morning, East African time. Log on and connect and we pray. Are you hearing me? Yes. And share the link to your relatives and let them connect as well. I mean, today morning I had a, I had a meeting with a certain gentleman and he told me, he said, Prophet, I didn't know that all it took to break through was prayer. That since he came to this church, his life has had a 360 degrees turn around. Amen. Complete. He started giving me testimony upon testimony upon testimony. And some, see, there, some of the dangerous testimonies people cannot stand here and share. It is, it is too dangerous. Are you getting me? Yeah. I mean, I was shocked. For, to see what God has done in his life. Just, he started coming just a few um, um, I think it was during the 21 days of fasting and prayer. And things have started happening in his life. And I pray for you. Yes. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As you connect to this altar. Yes. May things begin to happen for you. I receive it. May doors begin to open for you. I receive it. If you are here, shout, I receive it. I receive it. Let's pray for family and then we go home. Shout in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. By the reason of the blood. By the reason of the blood. I present my family before God. I present my family before God. I declare none shall die premature. I declare none shall die premature. We declare the healing of God upon my family. I declare the healing of God upon my family. Every member of the family. Every member of the family is is preserved, is, preserved, is protected, is, protected, is, is delivered, is delivered in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, by the power of God, by the power of God, I decree and declare, I decree and declare total, total preservation, total preservation, total protection, total protection over, every family, over every member of the family. I release the healing power of God over my family members. I release the deliverance power of God. I release the deliverance power of God. I over, my over my family members as we begin to pray as we, begin to we, pray. Declare, we declare my family is preserved my family is, preserved. My family is healed my family is, my family is delivered my family is come delivered. on lift up your voice for the last time come on speak over the family Shalala la 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 la
up here. I decree and declare by the mandate of the Holy Ghost. Yes. That every hold against your family is broken. It's broken. broken. Anybody within the family that the enemy is targeting, we decree and declare. Yes. yes. Let the enemy's agenda backfire. Backfire. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Get up. Kani Moshe Brazimana. I see which month are we in? I see around the 25th of April. It's like you are called to go to Nakuru. Why? Because someone has been attacked. And I speak and I declare. Yes. Any target of the enemy yes. against anybody connected to you yes. by the mandate of the Holy Ghost, yes. we declare let it backfire. Backfire. How many siblings do you have? Two. You have two more siblings, so you have three. Girls? Where's the girl? Jesus Nakuru. Lift your hands up. Any agenda of the enemy yes. against your sister, yes. I declare it is aborted. Aborted. 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 In the name of Jesus. She knew there. She's new there. Because in the realm of the spirit, it looks like she's going somewhere and uh, she was not watching and she was hit by them. We stand there and declare. Yes. See, the Bible says, For this cause, the Son of God was manifested that he may destroy the works of the enemy. Yes. When a negative revelation comes, it comes to preserve. Amen. That even if the enemy wanted evil, preservation has come. Amen. I speak as a voice. Yes. For your service in this house, may your sister be preserved. Preserve. 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 In the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. I see it's like she's walking into crossing the road, walking like crossing the road into an office. And all of a sudden, a vehicle like a matatu comes in. It, and she's like crossing the road. It's like into like a KRA office. Yeah? Huh? She's in KRA. Lift up your hands. Vrazoni Migadabaya. We decree and declare. Yes. By the mandate of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Let every satanic agenda. Yes. Against your life, yes. Let it backfire. backfire. Against your sister, backfire. let it backfire. backfire. Let it backfire. backfire. Let it backfire. backfire. In the name of Jesus, it shall not be long because of all of a sudden she will start to demonstrate high level of skills and expertise. She will be recommended for promotion. Amen. Amen. You are also here, you work for KRA. Raise your hand. Not, not him. You are here. God is going to do something. Now, God is going to do something here. Somebody shall fire. Mama, fire, fire. come. Yes, come. You, yes, you. Lift your hands up. I hear the Lord say, In your season of honor, you shall not see pain. Amen. Amen. In the next one year, you are supposed to be enjoying. Your season of honor is so close. But when you were almost about to be honored, the enemy would have struck. I see in the realm of the spirit, in your season of honor, the enemy rises. But says the Lord, 
every satanic agenda. Yes. Any evil manipulation. Yes. Against your household. Yes. Today I declare it is aborted. Aborted. It is aborted. Aborted. It is aborted. Aborted. It is aborted. Aborted. In the realm of the spirit, Mama, this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a young man being put on like a um, this thing. What's it called? No. This thing doctors put on your neck. Yeah. Thetoscope or whatever it is it's called. I've seen a man put it on and wearing white. And you are facing that young man to celebrate with him. And all of a sudden, when you were almost getting close, the man falls down backwards. The Lord is really saying to me that I should tell you. There is a satanic arrangement from your village projected to a boy that is almost about to finish to bring you honor. But say yes, the Lord, any evil from your home yes. projected at your son. Yes. Today as a prophet, yes. Yes. I declare let it backfire. Backfire. 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 In the name of oh, Jesus. Jesus. The arrow is going fast. It is crossing Jomo Kenyatta Airport, crossing oceans, crossing to America. But I declare back to sender. Back, back to sender. sender. If I be a man of God, this is exactly what is going to happen. Right after your son finishes school, somebody that is in the family shall pass on. Why? The sword that was lifted against your son hey. is going back to the sender. Back, back to, to sender. sender. Death could not hold no. you. The veil shall be. Power no day. 
power be. If anybody tells you God doesn't speak, tell them they are the ones that cannot hear God. Yes. And that is the problem here in Kenya. The fact that somebody cannot do it, they think nobody can do it. I speak over your life. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Any stronghold of the enemy. Yes. yes. Why are you here? Mark. No, you see, the person I'm talking about is here, you. You have somebody called Mark. Who? Yes. Everybody else, sit down. Thank you. Sit down. You have, yes, you. Liga zo brazen nemer. Mama, I speak and I declare. Yes. We send prayer to your son in yes. Nevada. Yes. We declare preservation. 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 You shall go to the graduation. And you send us photos. Amen. To Amen. the glory of God. Yes. I have Jesus in my life. Living for his glory. I'm on fire every day. And nothing can stop me. Doesn't matter what I face. I am getting bigger every day. Against you, but says the Lord, 
their evil agenda shall not prevail. Amen. By the reason of the blood, yes. anybody that wants to sabotage you, yes. Yes. arrange to get you fired. Yes. We declare back to sender. 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 May the Lord preserve you. Yes. A place of evil may favor come upon you. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Is that my time is up? Let me quickly sit down, madam. Lift your hands. I decree and declare. Where's your where is your brother in law? My chakos. Lift your hands. Do you know what he does? Mm -hmm. He's into business, yeah? Lift your hands. We decree and declare life, life. preservation. Preservation. Over his destiny. Yes. Hey. Does he have a driver? Or he drives himself? Because in the realm of the spirit, I see it's like he's been ambushed, surrounded by tax and things taken away from him. We decree and declare. Yes. Any evil targeted at him. Yes. yes. We declare today, let it backfire. Backfire. By the mandate of the Holy Ghost. Yes. In place of evil. Yes. yes. May Jehovah God preserve him. Preserve. Preserve him. Preserve. Preserve him. Preserve. 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 Now, this is what you do. Is he a Christian? You are not sure. Okay, get me his picture. Place it at the altar tomorrow. And declare that as his picture remains at this altar, no evil shall come close to him. Sit down. My time is up. Let's, let's go home. Are you blessed you came to church? Yes. Yes. Now, tomorrow we have Kesha. We have ample time. Amen? Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. I said tomorrow we have what? Yes. Tomorrow we have what? Kesha. Kesha. Say tomorrow we have Kesha. Tomorrow we have Kesha. Yes. Tomorrow there will be what? Kesha. So prepare your heart and prepare yourself for the move of God. I'm going to be here and your life will never ever be the same okay. again. Now, get up. Pick up a seed. Pick up a seed and lift it up. Find a seed if you can find. Find a seed. Find a seed. Find a seed. Say by my seed. By, by my seed, seed. I activate. I activate the blood. The blood to speak for me. To speak for me. Let the blood. Let the blood speak for me. Speak for me. Let the blood. Let the blood speak preservation. Speak preservation. Speak divine access. Speak divine speak access. healing. Speak healing in the name of Jesus. In the name of Let the blood let the blood speak protection. Speak protection over my life over my and my family. And my in family. Jesus' name. In Jesus' we are prayed. Name. Amen. Amen. You can release your seed. Not by power, not by might, but by the spirit of the living God. Oh, anything is possible, bigger than we used to be. We have moved, I say we have moved, not by power, not by might, but by the spirit of the living God. Oh, anything is possible, bigger than we used to be. We have moved, I say we have moved, say not by power, not by power, not by might, not by might, yeah, 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 but by, by the spirit of the living God, oh, anything is possible, bigger than it used to be. We have moved, I say we have moved, I have Jesus in my life. So nothing can stop us, so 
They cannot stand us so. They cannot stand us so. We are fire. We are fire. We are fire. I put them forward. I put them forward. We on fire. Oh. We on fire. Oh. Nothing can stop us. So nothing can stop us. So they cannot stand us so. They cannot stand us so. We on fire. We on fire. Come on, put your hands together for Jesus. Now, in my, in my language, we say, tomorrow we will make ourselves dirty. Tomorrow then we can misbehave. Are you getting me? Yes, today time is gone. We need to go home. I, are you blessed you came to church? Yes. Actually, tomorrow is a holiday, isn't it? No, no problem. Let's just stay close. Just be outstanding. It didn't occur to me at the beginning. If it had occurred, we'd have gone a bit further. Just be upstanding. Are you blessed you came to church? Yes. Yeah. Let's share it. Is anyone fellowship people with that for the very first time? Today is your first time of coming to this house. Just let's see you by the reason of your hand. Come on, appreciate them. Appreciate our first timers. Oh, appreciate our first timers. Hallelujah. Bless you. After service, just sit right here on my left hand side. We will come and have a word with you, speak to you briefly before you go home. And I'm telling you, you will be blessed. Amen. Amen. Yes, now tomorrow invite someone. Tomorrow tell anybody invite someone. Tomorrow invite someone. Yes, invite someone for Kesha. Just make sure you invite someone for Kesha. Tell anybody invite someone for Kesha. Invite someone for yes. Kesha. Yes. Make sure you invite someone. If it was your family Harambe, you would have invited people to support you. This one, we are not doing any Harambe here. We are being blessed by the word of God. Amen. So Amen. make sure you invite someone. Amen. Amen. Yes, just call someone, tell them, I want you to go with me to Kesha, and your life will never be the same again. Are you blessed you came to the house of God? Yes. Let's make a yearly declaration as we go home. In I declare in the name, name of Jesus, Jesus, I am fruitful in everything I do in Jesus' name. What's happening? Let's declare, say, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. I am fruitful. I am fruitful. In everything I do. In everything I do. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Now, next one. Say, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I bear the fruits of righteousness. I bear the fruits of righteousness. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Number four. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare. I decree and I'm declare. I'm fruitful in the city. I am fruitful in and the fruitful city. out of the city and fruitful out of the in city. Jesus name in Jesus name I decree and declare I decree and I declare. am like a city set on a hill I am like a city set on I a hill I cannot be hidden I cannot be I hidden. am fruitful and relevant I am fruitful and relevant everywhere I go everywhere I go in Jesus name in Jesus I name I decree and declare I decree and I declare. flourish I flourish and excel and excel in my purpose in my purpose an assignment, an assignment in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. I decree and declare, I decree and declare I'm, fruitful I am fruitful and useful, and useful to my church, to my church family, family, community, community and, business. and business in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. I decree and declare I, decree and I am declare. fruitful in marriage fruitful and in every marriage. relationship God brings my way in Jesus' name. I decree and declare I am fruitful in the work of my hands. In the work of my I prosper, I prosper financially, financially and I have the anointing of ownership of ownership in Jesus name in Jesus name. have I declared this have I declared this amen amen put your hands together for Jesus now if I were you I will make sure I will copy these declarations and declare upon them every day amen yes the spirit of God led me to bring it out I bring out declarations for the coming year September. So by September this year, the declarations for the next year. So I start declaring it before you so that I can start walking in it before you get there. Are you getting me? Yeah, so I have been declaring it so it is in me. You must learn to declare it every day over your life. Are we here? Yes. yes. Let's share the grace with one accord. The grace of our Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ and the love, love of God, God and the, the sweet fellowship, fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Let's share the confession of faith. The, the Lord, Lord is my shepherd. shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. 
He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anoints my head with oil, and my cup runs over. Surely, goodness and mercy, blessings and favor, anointing and prosperity shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of Yahweh forever and ever. Amen. Please, in case you have your tithe with you, just come forward. Let me pray for you. Or you have given your tithe, come. Let me speak over you quickly, quickly, quickly before we forget. Just walk up here. If you have released your tithe and you have not been praying for, just walk up here. Father, we thank you for these lives. As they have released their tithe, we decree and declare, may you open the windows of heavens unto them and pour unto them a blessing that they will not have room to contain. May your word be made manifest in their lives. We break every curse against their finances and decree and declare a new beginning in their finances is coming up for them in the name of Jesus prosper them make them fruitful and cause them to excel in Jesus name have we prayed with thanksgiving and everyone said amen amen bless you if yours is here you can drop it in my hand be blessed bless you bless you bless you bless you are you blessed you came to church yes. so make sure you are here on time um, on Friday tomorrow and Saturday those of you that will be free Saturday. You can join me at 2 p.m. on Gone Road on at Rob, Rohaboth, Rohaboth Spaces Ministries on Gone Road and you shall be blessed. Amen? Yes. Are you blessed you came to church? Let's sing a prophetic song as we go home. The Lord bless me and keep me and make his face shine upon me and be gracious to me the lord turns face towards me and give me peace the lord bless me say the lord